we go again. I am so sad tonight because I want to go out for dinner or lunch or something and Lydia made chicken soup. So now I'm all filled, I'm filled up on chicken soup. I wanted like a steak or a... You could have had a steak. Go buy one. I know. Stick it on the grill. No, you made soup. So where am I... Oh, 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 turn around and show. Turn your camera around. Okay. Uh oh, what's that from a bike? No, it's a. Uh, oh! I'm it, a YouTuber. There you go. Isn't he, darling? Yes. He's, yes. He's been a sick boy today, is so he? he's riding. How old is he? He's two and a half. She this likes is to do. We have a garbage can out there. Yeah. Outside the house. Would you care if somebody threw something in there? No, I wouldn't I mean, care. Just one item. Well, here's a question of the day. As we're walking and we're picking up the dog poo in a dog poo bag, is it right to throw the dog poo bag in somebody else's garbage can? That's the question of the day. What do you think, Lydia? I, I, as long as you're not throwing a bunch of trash like a dumpster, I think yeah. it's fine. It's fine, okay. It Just wouldn't bother me. How about you too. folks? Would it bother you if people threw dog poo in your trash can if it was bagged up and tied up sanitary <laughs> so that's that's the question of the day I mean it is a garbage can it is a garbage can the other thing I was thinking about today was those grits that we had at kitchen on George the other day now have you guys ever ate grits I used to hate grits but now I'm getting to love grits because I tell you I don't know what they put in them grits but it can't be low calorie hi it's got to be high calorie because these grits taste so good. They make shrimp and grits. They make cheesy sausage grits. And cheesy grits. I even had some roasted, roasted grits. Roasted grits. Man. Those were the best. Oh man, those roasted grits. I don't know what they're doing. But here's here's the difference, Lydia. When you cook at home, you, you let's say you make grits. Let's say. And you might put a half a teaspoon of butter in them if you're lucky. Okay. When these people make grits. They put like a cup of sour cream in there, probably half a cup of butter. Down one more. No, let's go this no, way. Down one more. Down one more? Okay, Selma. we gotta hit Selma. So that's the difference between, I owned a couple of restaurants. And here's the whole thing about restaurants. There's only one thing they care about. They don't care about your nutrition. They don't care about anything. All they care about is making that food taste good so you'll come back again. That's it. That's the number one thing that restaurant cares about. They don't care about nutrition. What's he doing now? He's slowing down. So that's why, and we all love to go out to eat at restaurants, but I tell you, the more you go out to eat at restaurants, the more you wait. What? Are you carrying him now? Yeah, he's slowing down. She, she's yelling at me. Now she's got this new doggy bag that you can carry the dog in. <laughs> this is this is what we have evolved. The dog has evolved into. <laughs> Somebody came up with this idea, and they've sold a million of these on Amazon for twenty nine ninety nine or something like that. So. Here's it. Is it heavy? Okay. Right there. Okay. Now we're ready to go. So what do you think about that, Lydia? You think uh, restaurants... Nice. Show, show them Izzy. Oh, we did. I did show them Izzy. She wants a, she wants a cam on Izzy. Oh boy. That's, that's a good shot. There's Izzy in his bag. Yeah. Let me just let him do the talking today. Yeah. I guess he's more, what she's saying, what Lydia's saying is, Izzy is a lot more interesting to me. Yeah. Well, I like his bag. She likes his bag. His carrying this bag. Is, this is the first time we've ever, why don't you just take this thing and record. I'm tired of it. You're tired of it already? Yeah, I just, you're interrupting right. me too much. This is how you carry a 13 pound Shih Tzu, an old one that is. 
He's my baby. <laughs> Get a little breakfast. No cream and cream and sugar. sugar. And why don't you go get honey out stuff here and wait for it? How are you? Okay. You don't know what you want. Give me one of the muffins. Okay. What you doing up here? <laughs> Pick up your car? Yeah. Hey, hold on a minute. I need some place on that. You don't quit, do you? No. What are you spending money for again? I always you money. are. Turn that thing off. <laughs> Hello. I got in a little trouble here because I we just met this lady with a Great Dane. And I told <laughs> I told her that, that, that Lydia was kind of antisocial. What did I actually I say, Lydia? You said, yeah, she don't like people too much. Only if you've got a dog in your hand. Yeah. I, needless to say, I did not care for that statement at all. It because it's you, not true. Did it make you mad? I was upset with you, yes, yes. for saying that. She upset. See, that's what happens. I got a big mouth sometimes. Now post that on your little <laughs> YouTube. On my little YouTube. <laughs> Are you well, we okay now? Yeah, I get over it. Do I have to buy flowers or anything or anything like that? Or? Yeah, you better start stopping at the florist now. <laughs> okay, well, Saranara, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's today? Tuesday? Yeah. Yep, Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Goodbye. Hey, Kyle, this is for you here. This is what it looks like a Taco Bell with no customers. There is not one customer in this Taco Bell. They're, they're all in drive-thru. No, there's no, nobody in drive-thru. One just came in, but there's no customers here. Kyle, he loves Taco Bell. He would just live here, probably. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready.